Tonight, former President Trump said he is OK after he says he was shot in the ear. ABC News has learned that President Biden has spoken with former President Trump. That's a rare conversation for the two fierce rivals. President Biden is now traveling back to the White House and meeting with his top security and law enforcement officials who are beginning an investigation into a plot to try and kill a former president and current presidential candidate. And look what happened to our country. This was the last sentence the former president spoke before the entire election changed in a split second. Take a look at what happened. Former President Donald Trump grabbed his ear and dropped to the stage behind the podium. Secret Service agents piled on the president almost instantly as the sound of gunfire continued to echo. Somebody yelled, get down. We got down. We got down and we huddled and we started praying. Prayers came amid absolute pandemonium at the Pennsylvania venue. As people huddled in terror and confusion, Trump's defiant fist emerged from a tangle of Secret Service agents. With blood running down his cheek, agents whisked an injured president into a waiting motorcade while people in the crowd tried to figure out where the threat was coming from. It was a little, it was very confusing initially because, you know, I knew it was gunfire, but I couldn't quite tell where it was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from behind the bleachers. Secret Service says bullets hit at least three more people in the audience. Witnesses say one of them appeared to die instantly. The man in the bleachers, um, kind of to the right of me in the bleachers, took a gunshot wound to the head. Um, was killed and another woman I, she, I don't know exactly where she was in place I think she was either behind me or to the right of me she got around in the she got hit in the forearm and hand it looked like they weren't processing what was going on mm -hmm. um, the man was definitely he was dead minute, the minute he was hit the gunfire secret service says came from outside the secure perimeter the SWAT team you know showed up relatively quickly they jumped the side there was a fence it was next to the bleachers they jumped the bleachers and started clearing the bleachers and then I helped carry the body of the man down out of the bleachers and they took him to a tent. Word quickly reached President Biden at his private home in Delaware. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. For a president who's been struggling to unite his own party and has blamed the former president for inciting political violence in the past, Biden was clear. It was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully without any problem. Now the FBI is leading the investigation into an assassination attempt on a former president as Republicans begin gathering in Milwaukee to rally around their standard bearer. I think, you know, when you see somebody who's literally putting their life on the line for you, I think it's, it's only safe to say we should be at least putting our egos, laying our egos aside and putting all of our force support behind him. So come out of the closet and support the man that's willing to do whatever it takes. Tonight, law enforcement officials tell ABC News the gunman who fired those shots from an AR-15 style rifle was killed by a Secret Service counter sniper. The local district attorney in Butler County, Pennsylvania, says one rally attendee has died and tonight two more are being treated for critical injuries. So far, the gunman and those victims have not been identified. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.